and welcome to Big Fluffy Unicorns Dancing on Rainbows. I'm your host, Margot Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. And we're clearly we're not in the right place if if there's all sorts of death and destruction going on here. True. We had to move these unicorns out of here. Oh no. This is a, a rare Saturday record. Yeah. Recording on a Saturday, strangely. In the middle of the day, not in the evening like we normally would do. I mean, are we allowed to, to say why we are doing this or? Sure. Okay, so Mike is starting a new job on this coming Tuesday. I mean, well, by the time this airs, Mike will be working there a while. So, but as of this recording, he is. Entry. <laughs> as of this recording, he is Entry. <laughs> Bye. Done. Done. Goodbye. Great timing, Jace. I know you didn't mean to do that, but you did it, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> In any event... What kind of fucking nonsense was that? Oh, he's muted and he's uh, deafened, so... Yeah. In any event... I don't know, uh, I don't know, what, the, I don't know what the fuck any of that was. I mean, I was already off today and tomorrow. I was There was yeah. actually originally an XCW show today, but uh, it got cancelled, so... But yes, I uh, I got hired on at a very at a much better job than the one I was working, and mm -hmm. so I am basically taking this weekend to relax, and then I I'll prob I will be starting my new job uh, Tuesday. Should be starting it Tuesday. Okay. And? Jeez, what was that? What was that uh, cacophony that? Oh. that Joined in. Oh, uh, that was just uh, me uh, entering the Desire Grand Prix. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, no, I'm I'm going to become a Desire deity. <laughs> I mean, you're my Desire deity. Does that doesn't that doesn't that account for anything? So uh, that's that's why I have uh, that's why I have the Desire Driver. Desire DD, please leave my laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter, Dexter, I'm 37 years old. Please stop treating me like that. What? <laughs> oh. Remember when... Well, actually, it, it, I, 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 I hope that fans don't do that anymore because... They, they still do, unfortunately. Oh my god! See, that, that's something that I really hate that Stone Cold encouraged. Yeah. Whenever people pause in a promo, you know, for a dramatic effect. What? What? Yeah. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Guess what, fans? It's really not clever. It's, uh, but, but of course, the the crowd is is going to uh, you know. Hijack the show whenever they feel like it, and it's, uh, it's just come on, crowd. No, seriously, I'm trying to talk here. Okay, fine, whatever. No, you know, really, think, you win. I think yeah. the best rebuttal to that was, I was it the Undertaker, who said, "If you if you have sex with your own sister, say what." And then nope. the audience okay. <laughs> At that moment, <laughs> crowd lost all their rings. Yeah. Oh no. Um, um, is, there, is there an alien civilization that's trying to speak to us? Okay. Uno momento, porfa, whores. I have to finish my burger. 
Did you just call us poor folk whores? You fucking poor whores? <laughs> Ashley, you are just a fucking imbecile. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. You, you, well. Man, that's too spicy for the pepper or whatever that uh, family, um, American Dad quote was. You know, I'm just glad American Dad is finally coming back. It's It's been a while. I was watching AEW and it's like, American Dad! And I'm like, yay! It feels like it was on hiatus for a while. Like, was there something going on? No, it was just like a lot of the animated shows were like... It's, it's weird because like... Even watching stuff on Hulu, I noticed that, like, for some bizarre reason, the last, like, four or five episodes of, like, the last season got pushed back to the beginning of this season for some odd reason. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, no, it happened with, like, Kropopolis, Bob's Burgers, and a few other shows. They got pushed back to the beginning of this season. Well... But, I mean, who cares? Kripopolis has a wonderful cast. Ah, the theater. And me too, Matt Berry. I am the sexiest sounding man in all of blood. Very true. I, I can listen to Matt Berry read the phone book. That's just how... I, I love how, like, his character is also just the horniest character ever. Is it the real gun? Oh, Matt Berry is the, the, Matt Berry is the holiest man. <laughs> Say what? I said it's a real gun. Oh, I don't know why Michael McDonald felt the need to tell us that, but all right. <laughs> oh, no, not this guy again. I, I just wish I had the extreme violence uh, sound bite on my soundboard. I can't find it. I need to violence. No, there, there's a there, there's a soundbite of the uh, twin VTubers Fuel Moco going extreme violence. <laughs> I I do have this one though. I like violence. Do you stick nine inch nails through each of your eyelids? I like violence. <laughs> Uh, Koseki Bijou sounding like the I Like Turtles kid saying, well, I like violence. <laughs> oh, well, no, I know that. I just remember that the Eminem song was, Hi, kids, do you like violence? Want to well, stick my nails to each one of my eyelids? Yeah. Or, or uh, if you're listening to the Peter Down version, is do you like Primus? <laughs> do you like Primus? So, uh, I mean, a lot of people like Primus. Primus is good music. It's true. Jerry was a race car driver. <laughs> he drove so goddamn fast. Got a big brown breaver and he gave that thing to shake. Uh, access to big gun denied? Excuse me. And the future Mike put up big gun. Never mind. And Future Mike put up a picture of Les Claypool, that magnificent man. Yeah. Oh my god, editing? I haven't done that in one of these for a while. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Go to the cooling facility. Yes. That's as cool as the other side. <laughs> oh, I gotta go this way. All right. Cool. So I can't go to Big Gun yet. Oh. oh, damn, this sound bite is too long. What? Uh, also, you're playing Quake, not Doom, so it doesn't really fit. It's uh, Corona when she found the BFG. I have the BFG in this. See, there it is. I have the, I have the BFG. Well, then. You have Japanese girl. <laughs> El Scorcho, I got up. Well, well then, uh, then this means I can actually press the button and say. Sky guy. Sky guy. Everybody. 
he she needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> it was such a meme watching her play freaking Doom and how excited she got for freaking the BFG <laughs> and like shooting the demons and everything. <laughs> so, Orayo! 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 Corona, if you're listening, <laughs> dial it back about a hundred thousand notches. Corona, you're up here? Corona, if you're listening, stop infecting people. <laughs> Corona, if you're listening, you're a crappy brand of beer. Don't tell that to any of the Mexicans that that I've seen pieing it. Oh, Senor, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell that to the Mandalorian. Mm. What, what do you mean I can't buy beer after eight o'clock on a Sunday in your town? That's, that's silly. That's, can you, that's, can you that's, circumvent that's that? Can you go? Can you, can you just sell me the alcohol anyway? No, bitch, that's illegal. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Are you? Did that actually happen to yes. you at some point? Yes. <laughs> In my Jesus. town on Sundays, you can only we can only sell carry out carry out liquor. That means carrying it out of the store. Obviously, you can drink it in a bar whenever. But uh, you can carry out liquor sales happen between noon and eight p.m. on Sundays, and more often than not, at my old job, I would get people coming in at like nine o'clock on a Sunday night and try to buy alcohol. And I have had people, plenty of people in the past, be like, "Can you sell me the alcohol anyway?" And I, no, you? no, our our system literally will not let it happen. We cannot sell it. It's illegal. And you gotta be you fucking. You gotta smuck. be careful. You gotta be careful because those sometimes those could be the secret shoppers. Like, hey, can you do this illegal thing? And then when you do it, the boss comes in like, "You failed. Um, that was a secret shopper. You're feared." I'm, fe- You're totally, I'm, f- I'm feared. You are totally feared. You you will not be coming back on Monday. You you are feared. You are f- well, you I are mean, fire red. If it was a secret shopper, they're really secretly stupid because it doesn't matter if I wanted to or not. Uh, our system would not let us do it. So, and there was no way to override that. Okay. So I- not really a whole lot I could do about the situation. Keeper Blaster. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but um, Quake Guy is technically dead. Because, yeah. Yeah. Negative health. Himself, mm, what's going on? He's a zombie now. Yep. Z- zombie. Happy Halloween, everybody. Even though this is air <laughs> mid, even though this is going to air mid November. <laughs> Boo! Boo! It's, uh, I was gonna say, uh, isn't it still technically because, like, the uh, Hispanic Heritage Month is is a weird like takes place in the middle of two separate months. Uh, so is it like October through November, weirdly, wow. or is it September and to October? I know AEW keeps like highlighting their luchadors and bringing it up. Hmm. Hence, at the time of this recording, they're like Wrestle Dream, two out of three falls match. Uh, it, it's from September fifteenth to October fifteenth. Strangely, ah. So technically, as we're recording this, we're in the middle of it. Ah, uh, okay. For the tail end. Yeah, so. Buenos dias, putas. <laughs> okay, then. Corona! Corona shut, shut up. <laughs> that's that's uh, Chibi Doki. Okie Doki, shut up. <laughs> Okie do- Oki Doki for Doki. <laughs> oh, my God. See, like. <laughs> I am. Listen, I understand. I really do. Jace and Billy and I believe Ashley love these these uh, VTubers 
these Japanese beats. I I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's like it's it's literally just a tool for people to use at this point. You know, they they are literally just <laughs> puppets for weebs. You hear that, Congo Musha? You're a tool. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You keep Congo Musha's name out of your fucking mouth, fool. <laughs> well, I would Stupid if you monkey. would keep his dick out of your mouth. Oh. What? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Mike. Get a little, uh, get a little personal there. Uh, uh, again, I say. Fucking monkey. Yeah. <laughs> That is what Tane is doing, apparently. I mean, <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. That 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 that's me smoking the postcoital uh, cigarette. Banana cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Oh, banana. <laughs> What is this, a Virginia Slim? Mmm, excellent. (laughs) (laughs) Kirby, don't you have to spread the word of God somewhere? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That that is so fucking unsettling. It's like something that would happen in a horror movie before things (laughs) went to be fair. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay, so like, you ever you ever notice in horror movie trailers, like those moments where it's like I'm whispering because I'm so scared, and yeah. then like the jump scare happens like two seconds later. Yeah, so it's, it's one of those things. You get you get my, you get my drift, baby. Oh, I'm 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 getting what you're putting down. So Good. when you say uh, Kirby has to spread the word of God, you mean Sakurai? Sure. It's a Masahiro Samurai. Masahiro Sakurai, the guy, you who, know the what? guy who created Kirby. Well, he uh, that's a... that's a running that's a running joke in the terminal montage videos that uh, Kirby is a good Christian cartoon. Mm-hmm. So uh, he he defeats all of his enemies with the word of God, and that's why Sakurai wouldn't put my Shiranui into the into Super Smash Brothers. Because <laughs> because Smash Brothers is for good boys and girls. That's correct. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, it's, except when know, I look, except when I look at my Shirnui, then it's erect. <laughs> well, because actually, it would have raised the uh, age rating in Japan for yeah. the game. She's too lewd. She's yeah, very much you know so. What? That's why Waluigi's not in Super Smash Brothers because his dick is too big. Yeah, <laughs> he he and my Shirnui have the same uh, fighting stance where they both. They're both leaned over, so their boobies just flop back and forth. Yes. Yes. See anything you like? (laughs) 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 That's and that's pretty much how much my uh, last night felt. That sound you just heard was Wario tripping over his boner. God damn it. (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> and oh, yeah. well, so, so uh, one of the funniest things I've heard recently. Oh, God damn it! No, fuck. Um, and and uh, hey, a secret. Ooh, a secret. Cool. I, apparently, I can't. Apparently, I can't oh, wait, pick no. up this quad damage. Holy shit! I have too many quad damages. I'll just use one, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, the, the case of, uh, Base. Billy Mitchell versus, oh. uh, YouTuber, um, Carl Australian Jones. YouTuber, um, Carl Jobs. Car- yeah, Carl Jobs, uh, is turning into a real life ace attorney, uh, situation. Well, uh, let me, let me spoil it for you. Um, Moist Critical was apparently called as a witness. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jace, you were? Uh, apparently <laughs> so. Because uh, Moist Critical had a video talking about it. And uh, 
one of the pieces of evidence at one point was just a clip from one of Critical's videos where he's making fun of Billy Mitchell and Billy Mitchell's fans, and he farts into the microphone. So Shit. moist critical farting is a piece of evidence in this trial. But, you know, the evidence of for what, though? Oh, Billy Mitchell has all these people who are mean to him. Yeah, like... <laughs> this is just turning into, like, the most... Re like, this... It's it's literally an ace attorney case at this point. Yeah, you know, like objection, <laughs> evidence. Here's a, here's an objection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, honey, that sounded like a wet one. Mike yeah, will be right it was, back. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was it was a moist one. You might even say. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Anyway, uh, my my apologies for uh, uh, not being on right away. I actually was just getting done with the uh, uh, Tim Heidecker listening party for slipping away uh, at the time of this recording. And also, I was fucking hungry. So I listened to the whole album while driving to Wendy's and grabbing a Krabby Patty meal. I, I just want to try the Frosty. I, I'm not really the interested frosty, in the Krabby Patty. The Frosty itself is only like a dollar eighty nine, and it's actually pretty good. But the fruit, like the the pineapple slurry, is at the yeah. bottom, so you have to remember to stir it up. You have but to mix it was it up. essentially, yeah. yeah, it was essentially the the pineapple uh, Frosty, an order of medium fries. And one of their regular cheeseburgers with like a spicy burger sauce. It was okay, uh, but I don't see myself getting it again. So we'll like, there, there's that, and then there's the Adams Family uh, thing going on right now at uh, Burger King. Yeah. Burger King, yeah. Ooh. And then Chicken Big Macs. <laughs> here's the. Here's I the had a Chicken question, Big Mac, though. and I don't see the appeal. The important question. Is there a chum bucket right next door to the Wendy's selling the patty? <laughs> well, let's see. My um, the Wendy's in my town is right across the street from a McDonald's. So yes, I mean, um, <laughs> in, in my town, literally, there is a Taco Bell across the street from the Wendy's, and then like, kind of, sort of across the street, but not really. Is a Kentucky Fried Burger Chicken King? and a Pizza Hut? A Pizza Hut? Well, a Pizza Hut? <laughs> not quite, but there's also a Burger King and a McDonald's and a Chipotle. Speaking of McDonald's, has anybody seen this story that the one of the big suppliers of McDonald's fries apparently went is called and went bankrupt? I did not see that. Some supplier of the potatoes, fries, whatever. Uh, declared bankruptcy. So I'm sitting here like, what's that going to mean for McDonald's fries now? If they're apparently the biggest supply, I, is there more supplies? Uh, they they will probably try to find a new French fry distributor that can do their fries. Well, which, you know, to be honest, they're going to have to go back to doing them with beef tallow like they used to do. Oh, you know, for a long time. I always said the best, the best fries were at McDonald's. Now it's like, oh, now I don't know. What's I mean, gonna happen? I mean, if they do you know actually what? go I back, just, to, if they do actually go I, back to doing with beef tallow, they will be the best ones. I I wish that uh, freaking KFC would go back to having wedges. I used to love KFC wedges. KFC wedges were freaking awesome. Now, hey. if you want wedges, you got to go to freaking uh, Wendy's for breakfast. Yeah. Or a gas station. Wendy's nuts that, are dragging. That kind of blows my mind that Wendy's you, does wedges for breakfast. Let me let me put it to you this way. If you go to a gas station to get wedges, you're, you're kind of desperate. And you have a death wish. Yeah. Listen, and I, you'll I, be on your phone the next three hours. Listen, I just ate two gas station uh, cheeseburgers, so... Well, but I hope you, here's the I thing. Hope you enjoy 
<laughs> but here's the thing. Not, not all gas station food is bad. Like, if have you ever eaten from a Speedway? That's what I was, no. that's where like, my burgers I was gonna like, I was going to say, like, Speedway ate half bad, and then they got bought it's out okay. by uh, 7-Eleven. Yeah. And they're in the but midst of they're in the midst of trying- closing a bunch of speedways down to install new systems, and they got rid yeah, of the fucking self checks. Yeah, because like Seven just- Elevens are are also trying to convert everything over to how like Seven Elevens work in Japan. Well, which I'm totally down for. They're closing down about a, a little over four hundred Seven Elevens across. This country of ours. So. They're they're doing that because it has to do with uh, uh, trying to get uh, more efficient means of uh, centralized distribution and uh, like trying to get people to like actually eat at Seven Elevens. There's the fact that like I also as... wonder if a lot of that is because some of those Seven Elevens would end up being across the street from Seven Elevens. Thanks I mean, there's the a lot of stuff like that, too. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, um, a lot of Speedways converted over to carrying 7-Eleven branded products Yeah. Uh, while still being Speedways. Um, I'm assuming that eventually they will convert all Speedways over to 7-Eleven eventually. Yeah, for instance, um, I'm drinking a Big Gulp right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've I've got seven select uh, fruit punch and uh, uh, mango uh, with me, along with nerds gummy clusters because they've become a meme. <laughs> I have I have the seminal Sega Genesis classic Steel Empire. Does that count? <laughs> I have a Liquid Death Slaughterberry Tea in a Wendy's uh, large cup with ice. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I've also got Liquid Death, too. I've been drinking Cherry Obituary this whole time. I've been drinking a lot more Liquid Death. If it helps me cut back on soda, I'm... I'm... Can I just say, can I just say for a split second, it sounded like Ashley said, I've been jerking off Liquid (laughs) Death. Whoa! (laughs) Jerking off Liquid Death? (laughs) Sounds dangerous, man. It does. Look Look at the hydration in its eyes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers can finish this episode. Yeah, yeah y'all okay. motherfuckers need Jesus. It's about time. Why don't you go outside or something? Nerd. Uh, the slaughterberry's not too bad, but I forgot that it was a tea flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, not a fan of the teas. You mean the slafterberry? Slafterberry. <laughs> I just called it Slaughterberry because, you know, it's like they want to murder your fucking thirst. Can't smell slaughter without laughter. Yeah. Oh, uh, this one's for you, Ashley. Eating the Michael Tyson's ass! Um. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable when they realize it's too late. I can't believe that that man has been spending money on these people for four years. Well, what can I say? He pays for a good joke. Yeah. And now I bet Mike Tyson's so confused because so many people are looking up, you know, post-rape when he's finally paid his debt to society. It's like... I don't understand why the fuck all these Japanese people are following me for. But, what? Why I mean, do these people want to eat my ass? What? Why? Why do these people want to eat my ass? That, that don't make sense. Why do these people want to eat my ass? Eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody needs to turn that into a freaking YouTube poop, you know, like a music video. <laughs> oh, you guys have ample opportunity. Do it. Uh, Glory, uh, hungry uh, ass. I'm not hungry gonna ass. lie. 
I listened. I listened to the the new Tim Heidecker album because he did a listening party from his garage. Shit's actually pretty good. Ashley, sec Ashley, Ashley secretly wants to bone Tim Heidecker. Oh no! Love my show. No. no, I no. Like that man kind of scares me, but not in like a oh spooky bitch kind of way. It's like. Uh, more like a he just there's something about his personality that I respect and like but I would not want to fuck with that man like unintentionally I would not want to fuck with that man because yeah. uh, he's you, really good at putting people in their place you 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 are mean you're not to mention like he gives off dad vibes like, he just always sounds like a dad where he's like, oh, I'm proud of you, or I'm very disappointed in you. I, I will always be a proud communist. It's, uh, a a Tom fan of the mayor. Yep. <laughs> that's what they call their fans, communists? Uh, that's that's what the, uh, from uh, the Adult Swim forums back in the day, uh, the fans of that show called themselves. Oh, I see. Yeah. Him and Eric kind of communists. Called themselves. Uh, because that was well, like the number one hated show on Adult Swim, like on the forums and everything. Like there was such a hatred for that show. Like people were just like enraged by it for no apparent reason. It's like, get this live action trash. It's like, but it's animated. I was like, gonna say that not, wasn't live action. It's not funny. Nah, nah, nah. Like there was so much rage around Tom goes to the mayor for no reason, and it's like, oh well, people just don't understand the, the humor show about gave it. Me AIDS. Yeah, like it's just like Adult Swim would come out with much worse shows that were way less funny after Tom goes to the mayor. People just did not understand the humor. I'm sorry I have to laugh because Mike just sounded like there's an Instagram called Abo and Caro. It's a like a cartoon about an Armenian family. And he sounded like one of the sons. That sure gave me AIDS. <laughs> I mean the, the, that's what people complaining on the internet sound like though. <laughs> that's the worst part. Cause like like I was saying on the last recording where like people are now suddenly complaining about the trans clone trooper that's existed now for two years. It's just like, you know, cry me a river, you fucking neckbeards. Really? I mean, these, are the, I... Same, these are the same people that are like, oh, Doctor Who went woke. And it's like, Doctor Who's always been like this? Psych. Oh has always been woke. Oh, I get to proceed to Big Gun. Big Gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Wait, Big Gun? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey VTuber lady, whatever your name is. Corona? Uh, <laughs> Corona. Corona, what did you think of the Joker 2 move? Wow. Wow. Yeah, there we go. I could have told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look, you I think? don't give a shit. The person who made this movie should be publicly flogged. It's a uh, hermit. <laughs> Ika Boka. Ika <laughs> well, this is not. Is, uh, this is not Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. <laughs> but 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 that's from Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> that's what I said. This is not Bash Crash Crab Bad Bad Blip. This is not. This is not Gash Crandablute. <laughs> <laughs> how many nice uh, how, not. how many my hero academia movies are coming out there's another one that's out in D. theaters uh yeah. they, they literally make like a new movie every year that's like 
not entirely canon, just because, you know, money. Well, so, uh, this is a very ominous sounding title. My Hero Academia, you're next. Yeah, like, the, the next My Hero Academia movie, like, has a hot, like, kind of, I guess, spider-themed woman well, with mind control powers let, as let a villain. Deku, Bakugo, Total... To, Todoroki, yep. and the rest of the UA High Class 1-A must face off against Dark Might and the obscure crime organization under his say, control. I thought you were going to say Dark Mike. <laughs> Dark Mike. Excuse me? <laughs> and under his control, the Golini family. Sure. I can just this, imagine this is Dark literally Mike. just filler to put butts in freaking uh, like theaters because to put butts, the TV show is to put butts. In the dicks. TV show is me. The TV show is nearing the end of its lifespan, and unfortunately, they're going to end its run on TV screens. Unlike the other popular show, Demon Slayer, which decided, oh. Let's end the show with a trilogy of movies instead. Okay. Yeah, no, yes. Demon Slayer is going out with a bang. Like, they're like, fuck it, let's end it in theaters, bitches. All right, now I'm going to finally close my door because Dottie likes to kick the door open like, what you doing in there, sissy? Well, there goes your armor. Hasn't been full. Uh, I'm trying to imagine Dark Mike. Dark Mike would have to be like, he would have to have blonde hair. He would have to have a white suit and black. I was going to say, D uh, Dark Mike would be blonde and skinny, so James Ellsworth? No. Yeah. Oh. Where's my, where's can, my can, I not, can I not be the opposite? Can I not be a sexual predator, please? He's, he's doing a wrestling show in Massachusetts, too. No. <laughs> it's the it's the FWF, the Fondly Wrestling Federation. No, that's What's the difference. James <laughs> Ellsworth. James Ellsworth doesn't have a chin. Mike does. Like Mike will keep a lot of his physical features. That's the point. Of Mike. He's the opposite of Mike. Oh, so so it has, well, to, be, has to be. So it has to be somebody who's a sexual predator then, because I'm not. <laughs> you got it. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Ser seriously though, know? like this this card is kind of interesting looking at it cuz like uh a, a guy I know is is wrestling at it. Uh former WWE superstars, Chris Masters versus Ken Anderson. Uh, Battle Royale, winner of Over the Top Battle Royale, will get the opportunity at the new Powerhouse Pro Wrestling uh, Heavyweight Championship uh, versus James Storm. Uh, Powerhouse Originals will be in action. Don Vega and Evie De La Rosa. Former WWE superstar, uh, intergender champion, James Ellsworth. We'll be and that there to tonight. have a super grabby fondle match with, uh... <laughs> and and super. that 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 is actually at the time of this recording. Right. Oh. oh my god, that fucking frosty dude! I feel like I'm about ready to go into a food coma. Yeah, it, it's it's it's, like... it's James Ellsworth versus Edie De La Rosa apparently. Yeesh. Somebody. I don't know who Edie. I don't, I don't know, know, I don't know who that is either, but local. they better they better work they better look out. <laughs> yeah, no, she she's apparently a local wrestler from oh, Massachusetts. No. I know. There goes the big gun. The the guy I know is uh the guy I know is in a triple threat match apparently, or no, he's he's in that battle royale. He's in a triple bitch match. Ah. No. He's a fucking bitch. Actually, I'm more oh. interested in... Uh, I'm more interested in... Uh, there's another wrestling thing going on tonight uh, called Cabba Wrestle. 
Ooh, like cabaret? Uh, yeah. Um, friend Ooh. of mine who looks like Little V Mills is going to be a part of it. Um, it's Drag Burlesque and Pro Wrestling Live. And it's opening for uh, uh, Rocky Horror Drag Show. That sounds like a very Oh, that thing. sounds hot. Yeah, I know. Like, freaking drag burlesque, pro wrestling, and Rocky Horror drag all in one night. Honey, I'm, that sounds like a good time. I'd be going to that if I wasn't watching Wrestle Dream tonight. Because my friend is I wrestling as a freaking uh, Egyptian mummy. Because instead of watching some good wrestling, I'd rather watch AEW. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, people. I mean, it Let's, could be Brian Danielson's last come match on ever. Every match he has could be his last match ever. <laughs> I understand that WWE has become much better since Vince left, but that doesn't suddenly mean that AEW is this atrocious trash fire of No, it, 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 in fact, it wasn't very sudden. It pretty it happened fairly gradually. <laughs> oh, my sweet, sweet molasses. Look, don't get me wrong. Tony... Good idea on paper. Jiggle your boob. But he just he just kept fucking Here's the fucking jiggle your up. boob. The way I see I'm it is like I'm not jiggling my boobs. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this thing. Hey, your idol animation. There we go. Play with your boobie. The there I, we go. You did it. All right. The way cool. I see it is like this. <laughs> Do the thing. AEW has better wrestling. WWE has better storytelling. Yeah. Well, here, here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. AEW has way too many fucking guys. It has way too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks? WWE. And, and Tony Khan's to a bit of a pushover. Like, yes. literally, if somebody doesn't like something, they complain they to him before the show and it gets changed. Give him a little bump of like, cocaine. And like, they Johnny. get total creative control. That's how it works. Like, yeah. I, I don't look how things are this week. Got, got, got a little white powder for me? Uh, I, I got this uh, little something in my pocket. Can, can I can I smell it? I got something in my pocket, and I'll tell you it's not a cigarette. It's uh, Rob the Robot. Uh, one hand in turned my violent. pocket, the other one is flicking my vagina meat. Jesus Christ, Alanis <laughs> Morissette. The hell well, is... someone's got to get their Viggy meat dealt with. Big not. Oh. Mice not. Tasty not. The last thing I, I wanted to match. Really... The... the last thing I wanted to think about was Alanis Morissette's gigantic piss <laughs> flaps. <laughs> uh, I <hope> <laughs> A high trilogy of terror, Zuni fetish doll. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was the I thought it was the monkey kid from Wild Thornberries. I think uh, I think what we just heard is what goes through Marjorie Taylor Greene's head every day. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. Bibu is way more sane than Marjorie Taylor Greene. Listen, they control the weather. <laughs> who, who is this they? You know. The yeah. Jews. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, and people and people are trying to justify no, people are controlling the weather. Okay, meteorologists can predict weather, but they can't control it. You're fucking stupid. Shut up. <laughs> that guy just fell from the ceiling. He did. Want to fight about it? <laughs> this did. They made him fall from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Marjorie Yay. Taylor Green, would you BFG. please put someone else's cock in your mouth and shut up? They put cocks in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, they sure did. Uh, they really? did. I totally didn't uh, suck 37 dicks of my own volition. Wow. 
In a row? Wow, in a row? Why now? Why now? Why now? Why now? Try not to suck any dick on your way through the parking lot, Marjorie. <laughs> fuck them kids, bro. No. Hey. I prefer to fuck what, people my Gage? own age. What's Matt Gage? Wait a minute, what's Matt Gage doing here? <laughs> what's Adam Winkleman doing here? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wait, wait a second. What? Adam Winkleman might be a lot of things. But, but he is he's the he's a communist. He's a leader he's of the gay and lesbian alliance for some reason. Ooh. He's a stone cutter. <laughs> Look, Adam Adam Winkleman may be a cunt, but he's not a pederast as far as I know. I was gonna say he's a fucking moron, but he's not a also pederast. also why did you use the term pederast like Kevin Spacey in seven? Uh, uh, a a a pedophile? A PDF file. He's a, PD a PDF, He's a PDF file. file. That's right. That's right. Uh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I used a specific term because it sounded eloquent and spoken. And now that I think about it, I remember that suspected PD may have used I, it. I, and I, I like the term PDF file. <sighs> I'm gonna look. We need to call motherfuckers out. Motherfuckers need to be called out. We gotta call them out. So That's we right, call Christine Chan. We know about you. <laughs> you like, you're you're you Sonic. Your you're Sonic Chew. Your Sonic well, Chew amulet is not going to save you from our. I just want to let you know that my husband slash wife is hitting you right now. <laughs> oh well, I just want to let you know that your husband's we do not wife has been... enough for that shit. For those of you who I... are not aware of what I'm talking about, the um, video footage of Chris Chan's arrest came out. Oh and yeah, Chris Chan, only 100 percent sincerely, says to the cop, "I want to let you know." And my husband is hitting you right now. There, my, my my reaction to that is, you know, hey cops, hey asshat, it's time to drink. <laughs> you, Look, you. If I was a cop, not saying I drinks would, are on me. Cops, you deserve it. Cops are bastards. I salute you. For those if I was a cop, I already hit that. For those about to arrest Chris Chan, I'm I'd buying like you a drink. Be like Christine, Christine Chandler. I'm gonna give you a choice, sweetie. Either you shut the fuck up and know your Fifth Amendment right, or I'm going to tase you. But you see, the 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 the, the interdimensional merge is happening. We have to. I, I'm stopping it from happening, you see, and I have to get my sweetheart. No, no, you're you're in trouble with the law. And Listen, you need to be Sonic Chew is kicking you in the shins right now. I hope you know that. Well, I hope Sonic Chew likes my canine unit because they love animals. They all. Bad guys, which right now you're a bad guy or I'm girl. I'm not. I I have no preference. <sighs> dogs don't discriminate against criminals. Mm -mm. No. Dogs have no concept of gender. Dogs. Well, dogs aren't racist or sexist. Point. They'll just bite Case you. in point. Uh, one of our female dogs in the house is in heat, and another bigger female dog is constantly trying to hump it. They have no concept of gender. Yep. Ain't no shame in that either. It, it's, a, no shame. it's a dominance thing at that point. I hate to say it, Dottie sometimes humps my mom's leg because of dominance issues. I don't let her do that shit to me. Well... I really don't know what That's... this game is trying to direct me to do, but whatever. Compass well, can't lead me for... back to that switch that I already hit. 
I got one hand in my pocket and the other one is hitting the cops that are arresting Christine Chandler. I would I would buy that cop a beer. I would. It's like Jesus yeah. man, you You've been through a lot. You deserve it. You deserve Remember. Hey, remember though, Alcab. Unless they're arresting Christian. Yeah, and then that's a or if they're arresting like really bad people. Yeah. There's the rapist. <laughs> uh stay 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 thirsty. Well Yeah, I don't know where this game is trying to direct me to. You know, these ain't bad. These ain't bad. Although what is I like they? the other ones from yesterday. What is they? Nerds gummy clusters. Grape strawberry blitz. Hmm. So you're getting graped in the mouth? Yes. Uh, but yesterday I had berry punch rush. And uh, I like those a bit more. See, I, berry punch rush sounds a lot better. But that's just me. It's like Nerds Rope, Arse. but better. Oh, yes, I, I... They sell... They sell gummy... Nerd gummy clusters at the 7-Eleven near my office. Puppy, 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 puppy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see like you should. Okay. Uh. Actually, wait, no. What? <laughs> there we go. What the fuck? What the fuck does this have to do with? What the fuck does this have to fuck? do with anyone? What the fuck? Uh, oh my god! Why, Jeez. why? Why does it sound like there? And why does it sound like there are goats? Ma. <laughs> 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 yeah, sounds like fed up goats. <laughs> They're like, I've had enough of this shit. Ah. Like, what the fuck is going on with my life? See, it's directing me to that switch, but I've already hit that switch. I don't know. But wiser. Coors. I don't want it. Well, you know why I was thinking Budweiser? Uh, even though I don't drink Budweiser because I think it tastes like stale piss. Um, there was a punk, uh, a punk singer, I think, from the band Fear, who did a, a punk round, like a, a punk focus group. And they asked him, what do you think is the punkest food? And Linda Ramone, who was next to him, was like, pizza. And then all of a sudden, the lead singer of Fear just belts out, Budweiser, King of Fears. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's been kind of like my Roman Empire for a, a hot minute. There's, there's nothing punk about kings. Yeah, no shit. I think he was just being a consumer whore, but like, whenever Man, he how? saw a picture... <laughs> yes, and how. And how. But um, when he saw a picture of like a cruise boat, like one, like some Latino punk rocker was just like, man, anyone who gets on one of those is a fucking poser. And all of them were just like, yeah, fucking poser, fucking poser. They turned into. I guess. They apparently turned into. You're a poser, <sighs> Dude, I am that burger fucking wore me out. Food usually never wears me out. What the fuck? If a, if a burger wore you out, that's 
That's really very troubling. Well, I mean, I probably could think why. It's the first thing I've eaten today. Like, this morning, like at two or so in the morning, which I'll just come right out and say it. I've been dealing with some uh, physical problems with my right ear being uh, congested. And it's gotten to the point where it I get dizzy. And if I get dizzy, I start to feel sick. And I have literally thrown the fuck up and trying to like steady myself so I don't die. Oh no. Hey, idea guys. Uh, why don't we take a wait break from Quick Quake 2 and play Job Job? Sure. Okay. Let's do that. Fuck That'll it. be. So we'll take a quick. We'll take a little bit of a break from Quake 2 and play some. The, so the next episode of this will be Job Job. Uh, thanks for joining us for this edition of a Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford Jones, Jason Amherst, and Ashton Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. I get to lose to drug Jace again.